John R. Painter. John R. Painter. Yeah. And, and go ahead. I was born May the 8th, 1960. Which makes you 100 years old. Yeah. Just about it. Yep. Just about it. But I've been around. Yeah. Well, tell us a little bit about yourself. Well, we've. We was over there. We went over there, and uh, from Alabama. Okay, so you were born in. Wait, you were born in Tennessee. Yeah. And then you grew yeah. up in Alabama. Yeah, I was born here, uh, just baby back then. Yeah. But, but we went to uh, Alabama, and he bought a place down there. My dad did, and he's. He's gone. Mm -hmm. Mother's gone. I'm st I've been there now, but I, I don't know. It's a job. Yep. <laughs> so you entered the army. Oh yeah. Now were you drafted? Uh, yes, I was. Okay. I believe I believe it was drafted. Yep. Yeah, yeah because I was working. Mm-hmm. And uh, so they. Wanted me to go with them. Well, tell us, what was it like for you in in the in the military? Well, I I was with some good people. They knew what they were doing, and we did it, and come back. And uh, then this thing started, and they. They wanted some of us in that, but uh, I, I never did get in because I had enough of it. Sure. And, uh, now you you did make your way over to England. Oh yeah, yeah we were over there, well, right there. Yep. But but they that guy. They caused it all over there. He he was trying to knock England down. Mm -hmm. Well, they, America couldn't stand that. You know. they, they wouldn't lie. And uh, they, of course, he was uh, he was already they was after him. And uh, when we went in. They was oh, they was it was, uh, it was a big, big outfit, and when we went in there, you were you able to correspond with your family when you were in England or overseas, uh, like by writing letters? Oh, oh yeah, I could write letters. Did you remember getting? It? Did your family write back to you? Oh yeah, my mother did. And how how did that make you feel getting getting mail? Oh yeah, it it, it come in when we, it come right to our wherever we was. Yeah, and uh, we was it, it was brought to us. There's a guy bringing it out. Mm -hmm. And uh, oh yeah, it was set up. It was set up nice. Well, good. And, and there was a lot of nice people with me. I bet. Oh, yeah. Did you make a lot of good friends? Oh, yeah. Yeah, and, and some of them was the best. They mm -hmm. was... Oh, they, they was a bunch of boys in our outfit. Mm -hmm. and, and, uh, one of them, if we went somewhere, and I looked that way, and he looked this way. <laughs> yep. So, yeah, well, you had to at that time. Mm -hmm. You you had to watch yourself. So, and then we went into uh, we was in a. Uh,
an airplane mm -hmm. and uh, so those, those guys they they didn't care for much <laughs> but we've stood I've stood with them lots of time but all night long uh, the, the plane when they'd bring them back oh those, those guys were awful nice I they, bet they, they were but uh, they, they was, they was after it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so tell us about coming back to America. Do you, was there a homecoming or did you get to see your family? Were you, mar were you married at the time? Oh yeah, yeah, after, after I came back. You got married? Yeah, yeah. well, no, not at that time. Okay. No, I, I was, I worked, uh, several jobs mm -hmm. before I got no. married. Okay. What, what does it feel like today when you wear your, your World War II hat and people come up and shake your hand and how does that make you feel? Well, you know, it makes you glad. Yeah. It makes you glad to talk to people. Mm -hmm. And they talk to you and want to know about this. Yep. Well, uh, you 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 have to keep going. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but I. Well, let me ask you this: I heard you you got to go to Washington D.C. with Honor Air. Oh yeah. And how was that trip? Oh, it, yeah, we, we went up there and stayed all day mm -hmm. in the white, around Did the white Did you enjoy house. seeing all the, the monuments and the uh, being around all the other veterans that day that you went to Washington, D.C.? Oh, yeah. In the welcome yeah, home? Yeah, yeah, there was, there was a lot of them on the boat, on the plane. Yep. It was a big plane. And... Uh, This guy is awful nice of him to do something. Like that. He's the one that had the plane. Oh, you're talking about Eddie Manis. Yeah. He's the founder of Honor Air, yeah. and he he owns a uh, dry cleaning business called Prestige Cleaners. Yeah. 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 He's he does an amazing job. Yeah. Yeah. He's a nice person. Well, John, is there any other experiences that you want to share about being in the military? Well, I put them my time, and, and uh, they sent me home. <laughs> mm -hmm. And that's always, yeah. that, and we're so proud of you. Yeah, and uh, so I, I reckon that's about all. Okay. And of course, I got a job when I come back out. I, I did. I worked on automobiles. Okay, good. And uh, I could work and, you know, have a good time too. Well, good. Well, John, it's an honor to interview you, 100 years old. Well, John, thank you for doing this interview, and, well, and we're really proud of you. Well, I'm, I'm glad to talk to you. I didn't, I, I've heard about you. But I, I never did come in. Well, I'm glad I'm glad you did today, and yeah. and I heard about you too. Oh yeah, yeah. So, but thank you, John. Well, thank you, and I appreciate it.